Dante, poet of heaven and hell. Florence is a tapestry woven with art, history, and echoes of giants like Michelangelo and the Medici. But before all that Renaissance glory, another figure shaped not just Florence, but the world of literature. He journeyed through the depths of hell, climbed a mountain of redemption, and soared into celestial light. Let's dive into the world of Dante Alighieri. Dante wasn't just a writer, he was a man forged in the fiery crucible of 13th century Florence. Think clashing noble families, exiled popes, the whole city caught in a tug of war for power. Dante found himself on the losing side of these conflicts. Banished from his beloved city, his writing became his way of making sense of it all, and perhaps seeking a kind of justice. Now, about that writing, The Divine Comedy, A Journey in Three Parts. Let's talk about his masterpiece, The Divine Comedy. And yes, there's irony in that title. Let's start where most people do, The Inferno. It's famous for good reason, Dante paints a terrifyingly vivid picture of hell. Nine descending circles, punishments bizarrely fitting the sins, from gluttons stuck in mud to traitors frozen in ice. But there's more. Purgatorio, often overlooked, is all about hope. Souls climb a mountain, working towards redemption. And finally, Paradiso, it gets ethereal. Dante ascends through celestial spheres, encountering saints, angels, and ultimately, the divine light itself. Okay, confession time. 14th century poetry isn't everyone's cup of tea, but Dante endures for a reason. He tackles the big stuff, love, loss, guilt, the struggle to be a good person in a messy world, that's timeless. Plus, even his popes and politicians in the inferno feel shockingly human. He puts faces to abstract sins, makes the whole epic relatable in a weirdly twisted way. And let's not forget his legacy. Dante helped forge modern Italian. He inspired everyone from Renaissance painters to modern writers. Dante might be intimidating, but there are ways in. Good translations are key. Don't try to tackle the whole thing at once. Dive into the inferno first. Find illustrated versions, or explore how Dante pops up in everything from paintings to video games. And if you ever visit Florence, walk where he walked. The city that exiled him also immortalized him. To read more blogs about other wonderful places in Italy, please visit the Rook and Queen website, the official blog site of Global Citizen Travels. Keep traveling smart.